And the biggest moment came from Dana White coming on there. First 10 minutes of conversation, a little bit of uh, had to get the timing, the rhythm out there. But they really caught a flow whenever Dana said, I can't believe I'm telling the story right now. <laughs> yeah. I never planned on telling the story, but I'm going to tell the story. And obviously the Gronks, yeah, 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 yeah tell the story. Mm-hmm. And they all know the story, uh-huh, right? Uh-huh. Yes, they yeah. So they were all very excited, I think, for Dana to say, am I actually saying this or whatever? Uh, so he dives in. And this is what Dana White told the Gronks on Saturday night during their Gronks watch along uh, for UFC 278 on ESPN+. Plus. It's still there. You would have You would have been. You would have been. So I would have been. I, I'm the one. I, I, I worked to put that deal together for Brady and Gronk to come to the Raiders. And it was almost a done deal. And at the last minute, Gruden blew the deal up and said that he didn't want him. And all hell broke loose, man. It it was crazy. I'm happy somebody said whoa. And and Brady (laughs) was already looking at houses, and it wasn't being said yet that Gronk was coming. So Las Vegas would have had Brady and Gronk the year that the Bucs won the Super Bowl, except Gruden blew the deal up. And there's so much story that goes along with this behind the scenes. Tell us more, Dan. It's the Gronk. I I was never going to tell that story until... Gronk just said it, but uh, yeah. And Dana, oh, let me tell you what exactly Brady was what not happened, happy. and you just told the story. <laughs> that is exactly what happened. Wow. That's wow. wow. Breaking news. Wow. You know, with the Gronk. John Gruden screwed up. <laughs> going to the right. It worked out for the best, <laughs> and I'm glad. It's the the yeah. So, like, honestly, I, I'm intrigued by it all. Yeah. Because Dana tells the story. Gronk says, that's exactly what happened. And you just broke the story. Gronk is part of it, by the way. Mm -hmm. Michael Lombardi, obviously, we know his ties to literally everything in the NFL, especially the Patriots, and also Mr. Thomas Edward Patrick Brady. Mm -hmm. Junior. Junior. He comes out and says, Dana doesn't need me to legitimize this story, but, yeah, everything he said is 100% true. Mm -hmm. So John Gruden, in 2020, went on to say this, Publicly, he has a quote that says something like, we got a great quarterback. I want every, yeah. Head coach John Gruden in 2020, and this is via at my sports update, asked about the team's interest in Tom Brady. We love our quarterback. Our quarterback is really good player, is a really good player, Derek Carr. I want to reiterate that to everybody in Vegas. We've got a good young quarterback in the film, the statistics, and analytics. Prove it. Is that him talking to... Mayock, mm. who would have been in the conversations, I guess, with this mm-hmm. time. Mark Davis would have been in conversations at the time for this, <laughs> right? Mark Davis come out and said, oh, I don't know, guys. <laughs> I watch a basketball game. Yeah. What he, what he, he basically said, guys, I, I, I don't know. I got to go, go to dinner. Raiders. <laughs> guy got to watch these Raiders play. We won. Las Vegas Aces, yeah. WNBA. Yep, they won. You guys listen to where Dana's saying. It's literally what Mark Davis kind of <laughs> said whenever he was asked about this by the Las Vegas Review Journal or something like mm-hmm. that, which I'd assume is a local newspaper that has pretty good ties. He goes, oh, I don't know, guys. <laughs> I don't know. You let Dana tell his story. <laughs> Come on. He's a great promoter. He's a great guy. That's basically what Mark Davis yeah. said. Didn't deny anything. So Dana White dropping that story on UFC 278 with the Gronks while Gronk's sitting there. Obviously, we could think there was a little bit of a work, but I'm happy we found out about this because now it's alleged the Saints with Sean Payton yep. were allegedly in on Tom Brady. Uh, the Raiders... I guess we're about to fucking sign Tom Brady. Yeah. Tom Brady was looking at houses, he'd mm-hmm. go on to say. Gronk, it sounds like, was also looking at houses <laughs> for that move to potentially take place. Obviously, Tampa ended up with him. Uh, I think the Chargers, right? When the the Niners. Ch- Niners were yeah. in the conversation. So now we're starting to get a glimpse of what the free agency was like for Tom Brady. A lot of insiders, including the one that's about to join us, said there was really nobody in the Tom Brady market, yeah. which was befuddling to me because right. you would think that you would want the greatest of all time in your building I guess unless you're John Gruden. And John Gruden, I guess, says, I ain't fucking dealing with this old-ass guy. Interesting. Give me Derek Carr. Because the conversation with Derek Carr and Gruden hated each other. Bingo. Yes. None of this makes sense, but I guess this is all very real. Joining us now is a man that uh, I assume was learning this alongside us as we were watching UFC 278 with the Gronks. Senior NFL insider for the network and the league itself. Host of the weekly wrap-up with Rap Sheet and Friends. Us being friends, he being Rap Sheet. Ladies and gentlemen, Ian Rap. Hey! Hey! Rap. What's up? Hey, I just want to let you know, I thought that's what your job was, to tell us that stuff. I mean, we've known that the... Oh, open- yeah, come yeah, on, I've been saying it all the 
long Come time. On. No, no, no. Look, we all knew that there was some interest in the Raiders. We knew that Brady was interested in the Raiders. And there were some reports at the time, I think around the Super Bowl, that, you know, Brady could be with the Raiders and there was some interest. So, like, all of this has been out there. Now, was it, like, done deal as, um, you know, was said on the Gronk cast or whatever? I don't think so because, to me, if Brady's interested, and he was, like, I, why wouldn't he be? That was a good team. If Gronk is interested, which we knew he was because he was always going to go with Brady, but the head coach is not interested at all, not even enough to make an offer, then how interested were they? That would be my question to to you. Okay, so you're not saying – you're saying that Gruden was never involved, never liked it, not that he yeah. had a change of heart at the very end. I. To my understanding, once it became clear that he was going to have to like actually give real money to Brady, um, and it's not a lot, but it's you know a lot for a quarterback. That it, it seems crazy because now like he's so good and he's still so good, and he'll yeah. probably be good till he's sixty. Yeah. But back he's then, like Brady. we didn't know that he would still be good. So eh, well, there were some teams. I mean, the 49ers <laughs> right. and the Raiders that kind of were like, yeah, well, we don't know what he is, so we're just going to stick with what we have, and like. The results have been the results. Okay, so the reason why I'm wondering if Gruden was in and then he was out is because the immediate reaction of the internet after UFC 278 with the Gronks, Dana White breaks the news. Dana I mean, White's got to be telling us. Kind of a re yeah. It's kind of a re-break. No, kind of a re no, don't, no. Don't, no. That deal yeah, being done and then Gruden blowing it up and, and us learning that. I mean, that is just... Because we've always been wondering who that motherfucker was. Bingo! Yeah. That's the immediate reaction is who you're going to stick with, that motherfucker, and the immediate reaction... Oh, it's Derek Carr. Yeah. That's obviously who it has to be. No offense, Derek Carr. I don't think that meant personal. I think that was just strictly football-wise. And shout out to Derek Carr having to be in the middle of drama all the time. Yeah, the every time. Are we Brown. sure it was Derek Carr, no. though? No, no, no. Be. No, that's what I'm saying. So, like, you saying that Gruden said, no, I'm out... Uh, from the beginning, maybe? Because if he was well, in, 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 then they, out, they, then they it would be... They did investigate. They did look into it. I know that. Uh, once it came down to talking money, they were out, and I know they never made an offer. Um, they danced around it, but never actually made an offer. So could so, be. You're sticking with that motherfucker. Could be. Mm -hmm. I. It could be him. Also could have been the Titans. I've never known for Thanks. sure, but oh. the Titans all... Because remember... So the Titans, you know, Ryan Ta they had Ryan Tannehill. They investigated it. They kind of looked into it. So I'm not no, sure I'm not, which. I'm, not sorry. I'm just talking about how many, how many motherfucking teams. teams. Yeah. While everybody was telling us that free agency market, not that good for Tom mm -hmm. Brady. <laughs> well, it sounds like everybody was Half quarter, it, sounds, it sounds like everybody was in there. Why was it all kept so quiet, you think? I don't think it was that quiet. Right. I mean, I wish I could go back in time listening to all you suits talk about it. Tom Brady thinks a lot more teams are going to be interested yeah. than. Yeah, but you, you took it off for this, and I appreciate that, okay, for the situation. But it feels like we're, we learn a lot forward time about looking back time about a lot of things that were being said that were just like legitimized as a matter of fact. A lot of people are saying he was going to Tampa as the only team that wanted him. Like that, that was shit that was being said at the time. Ian, I, I think – so let me go back in my brain and try to remember this. So I believe that the Chargers were the only other team to make an actual offer. If I remember correctly, and I'm not sure I do, that they were the only team to actually make an offer. The other teams that were kind of interested, who didn't make an official offer, the Raiders, the Niners, I think the Bears, if I remember. And now the Titans. And the Titans, who I also don't think made an offer because they chose – Tannehill, but like, Niners. if you're the Titans and you have a Ryan Tannehill in his prime, you have Tom Brady who, it's anytime you're signing or, or doing anything with a 40 year old quarterback, it is a gamble. Sounds ridiculous because Tom Brady is the greatest ever, but well, yeah, they I did not want to make that yeah. gamble, nor did the Raiders. And obviously, getting signing Brady would have been helpful to a team, I would say. Well, yeah, I, <laughs> for me, I just think whenever we were talking about it, getting him in the building makes everybody better. Not just the team. It makes the expectations of every single room, equipment room, training room. I mean, every, Times a million. Yeah, just like yeah. down in Tampa. They sold out what? Immediately. Yeah. I mean, everything Season. just boom, boom. Everything gets better. The cranes come flying in. They're mm -hmm. building up. I just think it's better for your team to have a Tom Brady than not on your team. That's why I was so flabbergasted about the amount of people that were saying, nobody's interested in having Tom Brady. I was just confused on how the NFL is run. You all know better than us. Now, <laughs> let's keep it. Let's keep, Legitimately, though, you do, actually. I'm coming from a blind 
blind player's perspective. Well, no, hold, hold on a sec, but I, I want to uh, like talk about one other thing. Um, it is in free agency, right? For anyone to get actually to free agency, we are always talk about how many teams are interested. As you know, most times when there's a free agent, there's really only like two actual offers. If you are a hot, hot, hot free agent, maybe there's three offers. So Brady having two offers is not crazy. We just didn't know that he would keep being amazing. And I don't even – like I follow this pretty closely. I even underestimated the effect he would have on every other player, the building, the stadium, the team. Like I didn't even understand it until we got to Tampa and we saw it like – explode yeah and i that's very understandable because you've never really been in a building you know what i mean like that's not i'm in a building right now yeah but you're (laughs) not like i guess you're in okay you're in uh we're both in the same building but we got different views you know what i mean like i i think uh you're in the building but a vastly different view than guys that have been you know i think in a locker room not that there's anything that you have better connections in different parts of it we just come from a player's perspective 